How to make a MIDI guitar using a BBC micro bit. For this project you will require cardboard, BBC micro bits, aluminium foil, glue and crocodile clips. First we need some cardboard. Then draw the shape of the instrument you would like onto your cardboard. and cut it out. One layer is too flimsy, so I've opted to use two layers. I've achieved this by tracing the first layer onto the second layer and cutting it out. I then glued them together. Cut the foil into strips. Then fold the strips to make them stronger. Repeat this three times and then glue them onto the neck of the guitar. We need another sensor on the body of the guitar. This is for the ground pin. Once you've completed your steps, it will look something like this. To hook up the electronics, I use crocodile clips. This makes it easy to connect to the micro bit pads on the bottom and the aluminium foil. Let's zoom in for a clearer picture. One end of the crocodile clip is attached to the foil. And the other end is attached to the micro bit. Yellow is connected to pin zero, red is connected to pin one, and green is connected to pin two. These are the large breakout pads. Black is connected to ground. How it works. To complete the circuit, touch the pad on the neck of the guitar and the ground. This allows electricity, 3 volts, to flow up your arm and down your other arm to the ground, thus completing the circuit. Now for the code. To make it portable, I have used two micro bits, both on radio channel 50. We need to check if the pins are connected to the ground. To do this we need an if statement. In the if statement we need to add the block, pin 0 is pressed. This is found in the input menu. When the circuit is closed, let's make the LEDs change to the number of the pin. and send a radio number to the other micro bit using radio send number zero. Now repeat this code two more times, changing the pin number, LEDs, and the number the radio sends. Finally, if no pins are connected to the ground, turn off the LEDs. Save the code and load it onto the micro bit. Now for the code for the MIDI micro bit. The MIDI menu is not included by default. You have to add it by going to extensions and searching for MIDI. We need the standard MIDI. It should now be in your menu. You will have to do this every time you start a new project needing MIDI. 
Now onto the code. First we need to set up MIDI out. Use the block MIDI use raw serial. Next set radio group to 50. When we receive a number we want the micro bit to send the MIDI to the PC. By using if statements we can change what MIDI is sent to the PC. Put the received number into one side and zero into the other. Finally, save the code and load it onto the micro bit, connecting it to the PC. We need two additional pieces of software to convert the MIDI coming in the serial port to enable it to be put inputted into the door. Hairless MIDI converts the serial MIDI input from the micro bit to a MIDI out which the computer can understand. In this example, my micro bit is connected to COM port 4. I then put output the MIDI to loop MIDI port. Loop MIDI is a virtual MIDI port. It bridges the gap between hairless MIDI and your door. For this example, I'm using Ableton Live 10 Lite. Select the loop MIDI port as the MIDI input. This can be done by going to Options, Preferences, and selecting it as an input. Click on the little clock icon on the channel you would want to use MIDI. That is all the code and programming required. Please see the demonstration as follows. Thanks for watching.